So, as I said last episode, it was time for the bosses and it was time to knock out the tech and we needed to do it fairly fast. So we were going to hit up the Broodmother, followed straight by the Megapificus and then after that we needed a couple of things and we were going to hit up the Dragon to get tech turrets, tech gen and the TPs which is vital for surviving on small tribes. Like I said though, there was many problems on small tribes and one of them was if you take the caves on official, you can lock people off from the bosses and pretty much choke them out of it. This is what the Russians had done or some of the Ukrainians who were being really awkward with the tribute. It was kind of lucky that the other tribes that had the caves traded the artifacts with us and we came to an agreement to basically go in, do the bosses together, all of us get tech and it kind of was a win-win. Now I know people will say straight away, oh this is hard teaming. This is not hard teaming, PvE activities like bosses have been done for years on smalls, there's nothing in the terms of service. You have some of the biggest tribes or even openly teaming alliances and then you've even got content creators like Cage said and Rototerp running bosses and many of that. I pretty much can't think of any of them that hasn't done it. It's nothing that is a breach of any code of conduct. It's obviously not the best situation when big alliances lock off the caves because it chokes people out of artifacts. With AC being so early and everyone needing tech so bad and only having one map and no server transfers, it kind of is a bit awkward so they maybe should have implemented some way of getting the artifacts. But then I suppose only the best survive if you want to look at it that way. I don't really know how Wildcard thinks these things through or if they even do but this is the result of when this shit happened. To follow that with an unpopular opinion though I would imagine they should probably just allow you to ally to maybe two tribes so there's your tribe and two others and an alliance of three. Maybe that would kind of balance it out people who are allied are kind of allied anyways and at the same time it means wildcard doesn't have to spend loads of time doing all of the action and the, the dev wipes and the tickets because it seems to me that they can barely cope with anything so they've took out the account share and a thing anymore that's retarded but you can now account share and also they don't mind if you're doing bosses pve and stuff together which is fairly cool i don't think that's bad but the stuff with alliances they might as well just make allies a thing now in my honest opinion it's still it would still be small tribe six man but yeah that's kind of my thoughts on the situation we'd done the broodmother alpha we'd got the tech turrets and it was a start we were all happy that we cracked on it was fairly easy and wasn't that difficult to do we'd also heard rumors of of people on the server wanting to mesh, liking to mesh, and also the aimbot rumors which you'd heard from the beginning. I decided after watching many videos, we'd try and do what we could with the new load zones and the caves and meshing and get some anti-mesh turrets down in case someone did try and mesh us. That was now the number one priority and Trimer Human 2 would have to take a setback until we got the mesh defences down and we prepared to hit up the Megapificus and get that done later on today. I don't know if it's a cock up and I, I wouldn't stress out because you know we've all been tired and that so it's no biggie I don't think uh, the turrets underneath the the base are all on 292 uh, 392 which is 2468 which is four bullet shots from each turret but we'll just fill them to 100 and we'll ignore it for now but if they go down again we just need to keep an eye on that because remember turrets do shoot under the mesh and if you see anyone dying log obviously Try, I'll name the turrets. Yeah, That's yeah, what I'll yeah. fucking do, I'll name the turrets. Come on a little bit, but we definitely need to have that spam all the way around. Oh wait, it is all the way around the island now, the stone structures. We just need to make sure we've got more metal spam down. It looks terrible at the minute there, it's just fucking terrible, but this is what we need to do. We're gonna extend and take all of that off the top. Um, and extend it, it's probably gonna be bigger than the BE yet, which is probably a good thing, because then there's no line of sight at all. Right, I fed up all around the base. Hey, I fed are you them. Are scouting just... our base right now? You mean, Where uh, are? Pink. Tribe, bunch of boxes. Bunch of boxes here. Here. K. His name is K O K O N E K. I'm coming with a baby. He's level ten. Ping. Are you safe, K? Yeah, he's muted. Start crafting that. Well, keep picking, and if you need to, Tully, I'm on my way. I'm gonna bring Argon. I've got him. I've got him. Bringing him. Oh, wait, wait, He's wait, coming. Wait. I'm grappling him into the turrets uh, now. Cancel it, cancel it, cancel it. Cancel it. Cancel it. Next, get him. He's dead. Give me one second. Is there a note around here? 
How are all these low levels? So he's Russian. The, he's Russian. They're not Chinese. Look at his name. Level 10. Nema Uplocker Human. It's just these are Russian guys. They're, Wait, they're what? 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 Russian it, tribe. His name wasn't that for me. It was like KO. KO. Come over here. Come. No, that's Russian. Yeah, that's Russian, that mate. Nema Uplocker Human. All I know is, on our island, the level 10 that cannot make it here is scouting our bases and our defences. With no boat. With no boat. So someone's dropped him off at the scouters. Why do you scout Kano? Well, because you're going to raid Kano at some point. So we need to get these bosses done. Get your shotgun ammo and get your two shotguns. Get everything ready. Because uh, there's still a fair bit of shotgun ammo there, so someone's missing some ammo. Oh, 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 shit, shit, shit. Enemy. Someone's under the mesh. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, they're trying to mesh the journey. Get a turret down, grab a heavy quick. The turrets are all under. They're already they're in the journey. They're in, wait, what? They're inside the box right now. Wait, what? They're in the box. Which, which box, on top? The journey, he's, wait, what? The baby Yankee. The baby oh Yankee. my <laughs> god, hey, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Damn. Why is that even there? That makes no sense. The Hank, the Yankees are on fucking breeding, I guess. Oh me, bro! Holy, bro! Fuck. Me too. I can hear it in my fucking. Stop. <laughs> oh <laughs> fucking hell! I I thought. That, do you know what are the chances though? They go for yeah, the one yeah, Jenny because a mesh is gonna go for that, which many. Bro, was. I was gonna put it right immediately. I was gonna put it down like right here. I was just wondering, and the, the only thing that would have worried is I was like, wait a second, now they've got there, the turrets cut, for, there's no way they should be out of measures, they should be getting shot. Oh man, that was bad timing because I was tripping balls about that Chinese or that Russian guy in our island. It was just worst timing ever, and because our turrets have shot into the mesh, man, I'm anxiety in my balls of waiting for that shit. So it was time to knock out the Mega Pificus. We were getting scouted again, as you'd seen. The mesh turrets were down. We were prepared for getting meshed. We knew there was a little mesh hole in the cave and we were keeping eyes on that until it's angled at it. The base had been modified and upgraded. We'd made some real progression. And if we could just get these boss battles done, just get the TP, we knew we would potentially secure ourselves permanently on the server because we weren't ever going to be pinned into our cave if anything bad did happen or we got teamed. We had contacted the other tribe for trades for the artifacts, we had enough to knock out the Megapificus and that's what we all decided we would do again. But what I will say is everyone was a little on edge because we knew multiple tribes were coming for us, we knew also they liked the aimbot from what we'd heard and we also knew folk wanted to mesh and Kano was fairly easy to mesh so it wasn't an ideal situation to be in at this time. No, I have the zero small, but I'm playing silly. I want all that loot from you guys over here. Can make a put it in a drop like right outside the base when it comes down. Yeah, it's just making sure we've got it all. I'm getting it all in that left reppy now. It's, it's all in the right reppy, everything is ready for it already. All right, I've been all putting in. everything in the left. Oh no, in the right is a, a, exactly what we need, but there's extra hard poly and extra. Wait, which which right vault? It's in the rep or fabricator. Right fabricator. Uh, I guess if you're looking closer to the Kim mention. So the boss battle went awesome for the most part. For most of us, as you've seen, some people got slapped by the rock. Do be careful when you're doing it, it's a bit glitchy. You even see me fly into the fucking Never Realm and then return. But that's ASA, and the ASA gods were on my side this time, and I managed to survive. So we had to quickly get all of the mats for the Reppy knocked out. We had to get the tech turrets, and we had to kind of make sure we had gens and stuff sorted and organized so we could get our base up to scratch, and then we could quickly, if we had time, knock out the 
beta or gamma dragon and then we could wipe human 2 and at that point we were ready for anything that came at us we just needed to farm our asses off the guys we were playing with were putting in a lot of time and effort we all were and we were all liking the challenge it was definitely slower progress than we were used to and it was delayed and with the server issues and that didn't help when tribe of human 2 potentially were rolling back the server because every time we'd kill the stuff what i didn't show over and over again this server would roll back they'd have the stuff we'd rinse and repeat it was like groundhog day so there was a lot of stuff going on that was annoying people and adding a lack of sleep but this was really motivating and really good to see that we'd cracked on and we'd got all the tech we were ready to do the final boss get the tps in our cave and then potentially secure the server for ourselves and if everyone played ball and chill with us we wouldn't have even attacked them or done anything the base colors were a bit bizarre not my choice but i was just happy to be in a functional base that didn't look like shit but as always hopefully you're enjoying the series drop a comment down below let me know your thoughts on the essay or what you've seen so far in this series give the video a share and a like and as always i appreciate you watching and i'll catch you in the next video